cut you real good. Eh. I don't even. I, I always use this thing, and I, it never works. I'm just going to open this button now. Let's, let's get it. Eh. Yeah! Oh, hey. Look at those instructions. This, this is pretty cool. <laughs> it looks so goofy. Look at him with his big revolvers and freaking rocket launcher sitting on his back. Hey, everybody. Sweet League Roll here, coming back at you again with another review. I mean, reviews. Today we have the Jungle Rangers and the Riverboat Raid. These sets come with 127 and 320 pieces respectively. Yes, for the first time on this channel I am doing a double feature where I cram two sets into one review. Some may call this a gimmick. And those people are absolutely right, this is totally a gimmick. But I will justify this decision by pointing out that these sets are better when purchased together since they're both obviously from the Vietnam era, and because the boat has three manable positions, but only comes with two figures. Cheeky Mega Blobs get me to spend more money. Okay, so since the Jungle Rangers pack is a troop building set, I thought we'd uh, start off with this, as well as review the two guys that come with the Riverboat Raid set. Uh, because we always review the minifigures first on this channel, and I just want to get them out of the way, so we can dedicate the entire second half of the video the main attraction, that being the riverboat itself. I'll start by reviewing the little piece of land that the uh, Jungle Ranger set comes with, and uh, well, with these troop building packs, um, I don't know, what you see is what you get. This isn't special, this isn't gonna blow your mind, melt your face, make your head fall off, it's, it's just a little piece of, uh, you know, I guess dock, that's what it looks like, an old uh, decrepit uh, boat dock on the uh, on a river in Vietnam. You got a little bit of um, you know wood tied together here, a uh, rope that they show you're supposed to tie it much more tightly, but I'm not very good at knots, so I've just kind of loosely wrapped it around here and here. Uh, you got some plastic kind of squishy rubber, well actually not squishy, kind of hard squishy um, rubber plant sticking out there and there, and uh, that's what it looks like from the underside, but really nothing too special. It comes with one sandbag and uh, yeah. Okay, so let's get on to the reason you probably uh, want to buy this set, uh, the minifigures. Uh, this one here is the first one we'll cover. He's probably my favorite. His face kind of makes him look like uh, Billy from the movie Predator, if you've seen that. He's obviously a special forces guy because uh, out of all the Americans, he's the only one with what I'm assuming is a captured uh, AK-47 style weapon with a scope, I, honestly I don't know why they put the scope on it, it kind of ruins the period authenticity of the uh, Vietnam War. Without the scope, it looks much cooler. Take that out of his hands for a second here and you can see he comes with a more uh, modern style uh, sling with the uh, pouch right there. Comes with a leg strap with a uh, canteen right there, it's got little markings on it. He's got colored boots, uh, short sleeves, as if he's uh, rolled up his sleeves, common during the Vietnam War due to the heat. A little uh, anchor tattoo, gloves, and he's got a backpack with one pouch and a knife. Other than that, not too special, aside from the head. Brand new head, pretty cool actually. Uh, I hope we get this in a couple uh, later sets, because uh, yeah, really nice detail on there, except for the eyes. As always, Mega Bloks has just done the cold, dead, dotted eyes effect. Absolutely terrifying! The next guy we have here also seems to be somewhat of a special forces guy, because he's got a boonie hat right there, and he's holding a revolver, unlike the um, other guys who have assault rifles. Uh, this is not the same uh, revolver you've seen in previous Mega Block sets. This is actually styled um, a lot more like an old, more old school revolver. I'd say, if anything, from the Vietnam War, it looks like an M1895 Nagant revolver, a uh, Russian revolver from the year 1895. You know, Viet Cong use what they can get, but uh, he also comes with a more modern uh, sling over his uh, chest piece, comes with a pouch, leg strap with a knife, no colored boots, but here's a rare piece I like, the pistol holster. I love when I see that in these sets. This thing is just, it's great, it's awesome. It also comes with uh, these pouches on the back here, uh, belt pouches, can't go wrong with those. In fact, I wish, again, every one of the sets they released came with uh, this piece here because it's, it's just perfect for any figure. 
Uh, yeah, cold, dead, dotted eyes effect, uh, green booty hat, no gloves, long sleeves, and a Russian revolver. Pretty cool. Okay, so the uh, second last minifigure is, well, this guy's more of a general infantry type. Has the uh, old school M16A1 uh, style weapon, which is uh, brand new, I believe, for uh, this new wave of Mega Block sets. It's got a uh, brand new top carry handle right there, brand new front end, and a, uh, well, actually that magazine is not brand new. They use that with the old uh, snipers, but brand new buttstock. Basically a whole brand new weapon to... Uh, bring to life the Vietnam era M16A1 assault rifle that they use. Take that. Oh my god, it broke. Just like the actual M16A1s in Vietnam. <laughs> anyway, put that aside. We see he's uh, fairly plain. Just general infantry. Comes with, uh, actually comes with the more leather World War II old school style uh, straps. One pouch, nothing on his legs, no gloves, long sleeves. Helmet's cool. It's kind of a mix of old and new with the uh, old school World War II style helmet and new sunglasses on him. Looks pretty cool. The last guy in the set is, once again, kind of just a general infantry type. Comes with the same M16A1. It's nice to get duplicates of the same weapon in a set. Uh, a lot of the troop packs actually don't do that. And I really don't like that because the same weapon kind of gives uh, uniformity to your soldiers outside of, well, their uniforms. Speaking of which, he has, uh, once again, the uh, same kind of World War II old school straps uh, that the last guy did, except they're a slightly different color. Once again, pouch on his chest. He's got a leg strap with green binoculars uh, on his leg here. Rolled up uh, sleeves, kind of like the first Special Forces guy, or you can see his uh, bare skin right there and some gloves. Uh, he's got a backpack with a, has a periscope, I think, and a shovel. And he's got the same Basic helmet design, World War II style helmet with uh, sunglasses. The only difference uh, from the last guy I showed was that he's obviously African American and the other guy was uh, white. Uh, so yay, racial diversity in Mega Bloks. All right, moving on to the Riverboat Raids figures now. It comes with two of them. You got Woods that you'll recognize from the Call of Duty video games, and it's got this guy. He doesn't have an official name, but he's Dutch from Predator. No, I'm serious. Look at look at this figure right here. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger, the minifigure. It's so weird. So let's just get Woods out of the way and we'll start with uh, start with Dutch here. He comes with a green base plate, now seemingly a standard feature in all of Mega Bloks' larger sets. Uh, he's also got brown pants, sadly with no colored boots, as well as some green gloves right here. Uh, the weapon he comes with. Let me get that the camera is the same M16A1 that you've seen previously but this one is black instead of dark gray also since I forgot to show you before here's what the M16A1 looks like at its top here's the uh, top just separately for you anyway uh, he wears a uh, normal tactical sling but with a squishy rubber uh, his bandoy layer going around his body I'll take that off so you can actually see that too got to kind of lift it over his head and slide it over his arm. But yeah, this ammo belt here is super squishy. Really squishy rubber. The coolest part about him though is, I'm gonna slide this off. Oh my god. He has a brand new chest piece. Uh, never before in a Mega Block set have we gotten, well, bare skin as a uh, torso piece. You can see there's his uh, belly button, his abdominals, and uh, turn him to the side here. Got a little bit of a tattoo up on his uh, upper left arm. Uh, but yeah, it kind of makes him stand out from the bunch, and this guy is a really cool figure. So get out of here. Alright, so the second minifigure of the set is uh, Frank Woods. We've seen him in the games before, and so we can see his full body. Let's get his big M202 out of there for now. Uh, you can see he's got uh, green pants with black colored boots, a leg strap with a silver knife on it, full green torso piece with colored gloves, uh, the classic kind of leather straps going over that torso piece, a uh, backpack with no accessories on it, and the same old Frank Woods headpiece, but with the cold dead eyes. Anyway, he's not important. What's important is this, a brand new weapon, the M202 Flash, also known as the Grim Reaper from Black Ops 1. What makes this thing so cool is, well, <laughs> it's a quadruple barrel rocket launcher. It's actually more of an incendiary device, which is anachronistic to the Vietnam War, because 
wasn't invented till the 70s, but you can see right here, you load all four missiles into this back piece and it slides in right there, clicks into place, and the missile tips show up to the front here. See there's a little viewfinder up to the left. The only thing that's inaccurate about this uh, weapon here is that in the real version, you actually wouldn't see any of the missiles uh, peeking through the front. It would look more like this, that, where the tips of the rockets don't stick out the front. Funny coincidence though, this was the weapon that Arnold Schwarzenegger used at the end of the movie Commando, which is a perk in Modern Warfare 2, which means Illuminati. Hey, have you guys ever seen the movie Apocalypse Now? It's a fantastic movie about the Vietnam War, and it's essentially about a squad of US soldiers heading down the Nung River on a uh, Navy PPR. And look, you can even see the boat on the front cover right above Marlon Brando's creepy, creepy face. Hey, look at that! A Navy PBR from a Call of Duty product. A game series that draws all of its set pieces from iconic movies. What are the odds? Am I right? Now, this set is from the Black Ops 1 mission crash site. Uh, but I don't care about Call of Duty. I only buy these sets because they're authentic recreations of iconic military vehicles. And to that end, this is another great example of that. Starting from the front, or should I say bow, of the boat, we have a rotating turret here with two, I guess, Browning 50 calibers right here with a bit of shielding and a uh, searchlight right there. We also have the boat's serial number, 138, and a tire with a bit of a rubber string around it for docking. Uh, moving alongside the boat here, you can see the uh, controls right underneath the canvas roof, as well as a little light uh, right there. <laughs> it's hard to angle with my thumb. As well as a light right up here. Uh, moving on to the back, you can see we have a single-barreled uh, 50 caliber turret here. Uh, this one, turn it around for you, has a uh, ammo box with a uh, ammo belt leading up into it. Unfortunately, the ammo box doesn't have a uh, just a one by one flat tiled piece to go over it, so it's left with this uh, really weird hole in the top. Uh, this railing on the back of the boat is authentic. Yes, I looked up pictures of it on militaryfactory.com. This is supposed to be here. Uh, the railing is a little, well, I mean, the pegs going up are a little closer together than it is on the actual boat, but not too big of a complaint. Uh, moving along back to the front here, we have a life preserver as well as a radio antenna going all the way to the top here. Uh, I'm going to show you right now what the boat looks like with crew members on it, though. As I said before, this boat comes with three positions, but only two minifigures. So on the front here, I just have one of the general infantry types from the Jungle Rangers manning the twin 50 cals. Moving on here, got to lift the uh, cover up, but you can kind of see woods there a little bit, manning the controls. And we move around to the back here, and we have Arnold Schwarzenegger on the big 50 cal in the back. And that's what the river boat looks like, fully manned. Oh yeah, here's what it looks like from the underside. Let's wrap this up! And there you have it folks, the double feature review of the Jungle Rangers and the Riverboat Raid. Now, if you liked this video, please like the video, it shows your support. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this video, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comments, or criticism, leave them in the comments section below. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and this is Sweet Leap Roll, rolling out. Have a good one.